Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, August 7th, in 1841, the Natchez Courier announced a meeting entitled Free Negroes and Slaves, a general assembly to, and I quote, take in consideration the propriety of enforcing the 26th section of the revised code of the laws of Mississippi. That particular section called for imposing a fine on the owners of slaves who permitted them to go to large and hire them time. During the meeting, the attendees will also discuss the enforcement of the 80th section of the same code, requiring free persons of color to remove from the state and to prevent their immigration into the state. In the 1840s, white slave owners became increasingly fearful that free blacks constituted a serious cause of potential unrest and began demanding the enforcement laws regulating the code of conduct, slaves, and free people of color. William Johnson, the barber of Natchez, noted in his diary that for several weeks in August, committees met to determine whether or not free people of color were conforming to the existing laws. Although Johnson's position was relatively secure, the activities aroused his sense of injustice, and he referred to the series of meetings as the Inquisition. Johnson noted that many were deported and great anxiety and tension were felt among Natchez free people of color. They are, as far as I know, innocent and harmless people, Johnson wrote, and have never done a crime. Oh, what a country we live in. The spirit of the Inquisition was prevalent for the next two decades. This is Jeremy Houston of the Miss Lou Heritage Group and Tools, where heritage comes alive. And this is your Natchez History Minute.